Hey, it's Kevin again here, bringing you another update here on the Lo Studio channel. Um, this isn't one that I want to bring to you, but um, we've got to get it out there. I'm, I'm a little, little speechless here, a little taken aback. The camera's running. I've done multiple takes of this, and I, I, I really, I'm, I'm jarred. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit stunned at. Um, at this whole situation, but we might as well just cut to the chase and and let you know that um, the studio's been attacked, folks. Um, And I don't know, I don't know why, I, I don't know what, what was gained, what kicks were had. Um, I really, I don't know what to say. It's, um, it's weird because it survived out there so long and all of our worries up until this point and everyone following it along and, and the fate of the building and all of this stuff was more of, you know, it was all of, of it decaying on its own, right? It was all natural causes, so to speak. Um, and all of the discussions surrounding it were, you know, could that be reversed? Could it be taken under the wing of someone or some people who cared and uh, change hands again and, and be taken into... Um, another realm of possibility where it's brought back to life, rejuvenated, gets to live another life, uh, all of the things that have been discussed. But now, um, now it's been attacked. It's not, it wasn't natural causes. Now someone went there for destruction. And um, the building has been severely trashed by some individuals who obviously, obviously went there to do it intentionally with forethought and premeditation. Um, not only is almost every window, large and small in the building, smashed, um, but the rear decking was torn to pieces. Like, they went as far as removing and smashing all the railings off the rear decking and throwing them down to the ground level. Um, what else? Uh, the studio window that we just visited in the last update with Richard Baxter. Um, the main booth window, which was broke in the last video. It was, it was the only glass breakage, really, that we had found after all these years. Um, that's now just a frame, you know, they even, they even went to town on that. And uh, now that's just a heap of shards on the, on the floor. So <laughs> it's, it's obviously someone, uh, oh, sorry, someones who don't give a shit. You know, you, you always hate pointing the finger at youth you know, stupid kids, uh, you know, you, you, you think the kids of today or the youth of today are a little more intelligent than the, than those of the past. Um, but sorry for me to say, I can only imagine, uh, at this point that it was a group of youths. Uh, I can't picture grown adults going, uh, and gaining any pleasure from this destruction. Um, and the biggest piece of evidence is the spray paint, the graffiti. Um, the first graffiti, you know, your typical urban type graffiti all over the walls, um, here and there, and done in the big markers, the spray paint. Again, evidence, it was premeditated. This, this was, the people had these along with them. Uh, there wasn't spray paint and markers sitting at the studio to pick up and use, so it was brought in the vehicle. Right. Um, so look at these pictures. Um, let them sink in. Big, big difference now. 
Uh, I don't even have episode three done, and, and now my whole outlook has changed of what am I going to do. I mean, I have to finish the trilogy and, and do the third installment with what I had planned, but in doing so, that episode has nothing prepared in it with this destruction in mind. Um, I may just have to include it as just like an epilogue at the end because, you know, when everything was prepared, when I stood and under all the studio lights and did my, sorry, my commentary um, for it, this, this was not known. Um, so, there's really not much more to say. I, I, I can flip up all these pictures. A, a thanks to Richard Baxter from the Kickstarter campaign from the last update. You get to meet him. He's the one who called me yesterday and broke the news and he collected all these pictures from his friend um, who was just up there. These are all current photos, folks, um, of what the place looked like and he delivered the report to me uh, to uh, have a look at all this. So I'm just passing this on to you now. Um, this is all firsthand from just a few days ago. The State of the Nation with La Studio. Um, it's official. Attacked. Extremely vandalized. A complete case of true arson. Uh, at this point, I actually feel for the owners. Um, as much as we've mocked them or denigrated them or you know, cast stones at them for being neglectful of the building. At this point, their property has just been a victim of severe arson. Um, and while all of us may have been technically trespassing and entering up there over the last five, six, seven years, um, it wasn't this. This isn't what, this isn't what it was about. We respected their property. We were documenting their property, caring about the fate of their property. This was just wanton destruction. So to any of the owners who may ever pay attention to this channel at all, if at all, if you are watching, just, just know that this type of, this, this destruction that happened has nothing to do with any of us, like our type, like the, the folks like me and, and those who are subscribers to this channel and those who have went to your property in the past. This, is, this isn't us. Um, I just want to make that absolutely clear. So I'll just end here. Uh, there's really not much more to say. Um, if I hear anything more, I'll, I'll certainly deliver it. Um, this is still in its infancy. Um, didn't happen too long ago. We're just discovering it here within the last 48 hours. I'm bringing it to you as quickly as I can. Um, if anything changes, I'll let you know. So for now, this is Kevin signing off for the latest and very unfortunate update about La Studio. See you again next time.